Story time, story time again. How do I start this vlog? A couple of days ago, I was on the computer, emailing and obviously browsing on the internet. Then I started binging on uh, George Cargo's videos. Out on a whim, I called him, I was like, hey, George, well done. What you're doing is fresh, like, good job. And I was like, yo, is it possible to shoot and edit your videos? I was like, yo, man. Yeah, I mean, of course, my expectation was for him to say no. So he was like, no, come over, let's talk, and then let's just find out how we can do this thing. So, um, I think the next day was Tuesday. Oh, yes, it was Tuesday, came on Tuesday, and they basically, I mean, told me what they do, how this works is that you think through an idea, quickly execute, which means you shoot, edit and it's uploaded within an hour. It's totally different from how it works based on the kind of work that I do, which is basically editing documentaries for organizations and for people who want to engage with an online community. So we shoot the first video, which was uh, the Sonko video, within 45 minutes, I think. Yeah, it was about 45 minutes the video was up. So, Governor Sonko Mambo. <laughs> so, what are you doing here? So, there's a system behind the scenes and basically there's a team, Karemi, George's wife, Esther, Richard. Basically what they do is everything, everyday life plus obviously making the character that is the M-Pesa lady. Angalia, you Are you guy, Bana? Yeah, so I'm Fika. And the many others just come to life and have as much impact as possible. <laughs> Everything, cameraman, driver, social manager, media management, noise maker, introvert, introvert. child picker from school, a wife. I'm a part of something amazing. <laughs> Every single day, something new happens. Every single day endorsement opportunities, videos getting some crazy views, um, Betty Chalo coming to do an interview. You can get derailed following all the different phone calls of people wanting to use you as an influencer coming, or the creative, who in this case is Joji the actor. It can, move, it can distract him from doing what he's doing to feed the audience. So I come in in that element of sort of having conversations with them on his behalf or on our behalf. Another thing I observed was the commitment to engage with the audience and that basically means trying as much as possible to give back the love that they are receiving. So there's a commitment to giving the audience and to listen, keenly listening to what the audience wants. I am ensuring that we have direct access to our target audience without um, having to go through different platforms. So basically, Joji opened up a WhatsApp community. So we're getting about, how many guys, Joji? Per day. Yeah. yeah, minimum a G. Yeah, so you can imagine 1,000 to 2,000 people um, inboxing you. So what I'm doing is I'm putting them in, I'm labeling them in such a way that we can broadcast the messages rather than um, having to put the messages on social media and they go look for the, the, the content on social media. If I put them on broadcast, we're able to disseminate the information directly to them. We've released a new ringtone for the M-Pesa lady. Insert picture here. <laughs> You're not going to ride on this thing solo. <laughs> Insert picture here. 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 Ding, ding, ding. So how do we let them know that we have a new product out? So we're giving them a free ringtone, but then if they want the skizzer tune on the back end, uh, we're sending them the poster with the details. Mtopa. Mombasa. There's a new audience, a new demographic that of people who are interacting with this Mpesa lady that I didn't understand. So I'm at the comment section reading and understanding them. I'm, I'm watching content being put out and I see how they respond to the content. That's important because once you um, know your audience, we say content is king, audience is God. That's part of the whole mental digital shift that we try and teach people. So the audience is who we are doing this for. We're doing this so that the audience can feel value, have that value be in entertainment. Uh, for example, when Joji talks about how 
they wake up and maybe they're having a bad day, they watch this and they and they laugh. And for that moment of time or for that day, they forget their problems. It's wonderful that you're able to inspire people or entertain them in, and it has that effect. From the onset, you need to have the right spirit. Um, if for us this was about money, um, I don't think it would, would have... We would be bowling. Uh, we would be bowling right now. We would be bowling, but also at the same time, it would, I don't think it would be as sweet. You get Everybody that I followed and I watch who's been successful, it's just the right spirit behind it. And for us, it's just to bring a little bit of sunshine to everybody we encounter. Um, we'll not bring sunshine to everyone, but majority thus far have been able... Those, those messages are humbling. When you hear someone saying, uh, my mom, we're just watching you with my mom right now and my mom has laughed so much, she was in a hard place. Or me last night, but I thought about chipping myself, hanging, whatever, I came across your video. That brings some form of, you know, sense of purpose in life. That you need to be able to wake up the next day and continue doing this thing because you don't know what you're doing to the nation. Um, so it's one person at a time each day. Um, it's great when we're doing even these giveaways for Skiza that you hear guys from Nanyuki call someone is in Kisauni, Omtuapa, Mombasa, Nanyuki, Eldoret, Kitale, another one Kericho, Kisumu. Um, yeah, it's humbling. So the whole country is laughing because of what we're doing, which is all glory to the most high, Jah, God. I feel like I'm starting to see the purpose behind the comedy. I don't know if that makes sense. It's like now that we have people's attention, we can share deep stuff. It's not just about actually sharing our story and hopefully helping someone who needs to hear it. The shoot for this kind of thing is very easy because it's basically a camera and a microphone, a directional microphone, has a pickup pattern that's pointed, so it's directly pointed towards the source. So that's basically it. It's story is king, and if you don't have a good story, it doesn't matter how good your gear or how useless your gear is, it's just not going to fire. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, be good. Yeah.